Chris, thank you. Now to the latest on the death of Kobe Bryant. Wreckage from the deadly helicopter crash that killed the NBA legend, his daughter, and seven others has been removed from the crash site. And investigators are examining debris, no video evidence, and conducting interviews to find out what caused the crash. CBS 4's Donnie Backus has the latest from Los Angeles. Investigators are taking a close look at video of Kobe Bryant's chopper just minutes before it went down. It appears to show the chopper circling near Burbank Airport. In its final 12 seconds of flight, the helicopter banked left and abruptly descended, falling up to 5,000 feet per minute. Its last recorded speed was about 184 miles per hour. And this is a, a pretty steep descent at high speed. So it wouldn't be a normal landing speed. The NTSB says it has wrapped up its investigation at the crash site. An iPad and cell phone found at the scene will be examined in Washington, D.C. A preliminary report will be released in about 10 days. It's not going to contain any safety recommendations or a probable cause, but it's going to provide some factual information. At the Staples Center, where Bryant played for the Lakers, the makeshift memorial is growing by the day. There's a lot of crying, a lot of emotion, you know, and it's just disbelief. The Lakers game was postponed last night, but NBA broadcaster TNT aired a tribute from inside the arena. I haven't felt the pain that sharp in a while. It was sort of like a triple stab into the heart. Emotions also ran high as the Orange Coast College baseball team held their season opener without their coach, John Ottobelli, who died alongside his wife and daughter. I know that he's proud of our guys for being out here today, and we're going to do the best we can to honor him in everything we do moving forward. A public memorial service to honor Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and the seven other victims is being planned. Donya back is CBS News, Los Angeles. And there is concern that the 20,000 seat stable center is not large enough for the memorial. So the L.A. Coliseum with almost 80,000 seats is being considered.